Whoever controls the distance controls the fight. Andre Ward fought Carl Fudge, what he did is smother him. He controlled the distance by being close to him. Many do not realize the closer you are to an opponent, the safer you are. Although it's possible to gain power whilst being close, many have not developed that skill. Ward stepped forward when Carl Fudge landed a jab. Fudge was left vulnerable to be hit by a jab because he wasn't expecting it. Here you see Ward, double guard, sitting on Carl Fudge's chest, who's trying to wrestle him. Ward is resting, but Carl Fudge is exerting energy. Constantly sitting on someone's chest makes them burn a lot of mental energy when you're relaxed. Attacking and not backing up, standing on Carl Fudge's chest, small moves like this would tie him up. This was the game plans of Andre Ward. He controlled the distance of the fight, so he controlled the fight. He didn't give Carl Fudge the room he needed to breathe and think. But controlling the distance to control the fight doesn't have to be up close. It can be keeping a long distance like Muhammad Ali did here against Cleveland William. Muhammad Ali gracefully danced around the ring, not being cornered, keeping the gap between him and his opponent. That was because Ali knew he had superior hand speed and foot speed. So although it looks like he's just floating around, he's actually assessing Williams. He's moving, look, he's moving from left to right, up and down. And seeing how Cleveland reacts, control the distance, control the fight.